Hi, I'm Tim Fantastic. And I'm Sid Sirloin. Today on the Fantastic Report, we're talking about an important subject to all of humanity. Yes, we are, indeed. And this subject is something that should be important to every single human being. Isn't that right, Sid? That is correct. I'm just wondering if you can guess what that subject is. But before we let you guess, We'd like you to subscribe. Wouldn't we, Sidney? Yes, we do, indeed. We would like you to subscribe and we'd like you to participate in all our future videos by commenting and liking. Isn't that right, Sidney? That is indeed correct, yes. Sidney, the subject of love is so important to us all that we want to be open and honest with ourselves and open and honest with all of them right Sydney? that is correct indeed. because love requires that we be open and we be honest isn't that right Sydney? that is that is correct i know that we got some uh reply to the audience of one of our shows there and uh, i guess we'll well they're applauding in, in agreement with us yes but um, the important thing is to remember that the world is full of love, but it's also full of something else, isn't it? Yes, it is, unfortunately. And this beautiful subject of love is one of the most important subjects that you could ever discuss. Because if you have hate in your heart, what don't they have, Sydney? They have no love, or certainly not enough love. Not enough love. And if you have just anger about people, and you've been filled, your head filled with lies to make you hate people, because if you hate someone, it is a lie. Because if you hate them, you hate yourself. Isn't that right, Sidney? That is right, yes. So the best thing in our life, in our world, is to find forgiveness. And I, I've pissed you off, haven't I, Sidney? Yes. Well, Sidney and I have yes. been friends for going on 30 years and I've pissed him off and done lots of things that I probably shouldn't have done haven't I Sydney but it's worked the other way around too and then Sydney's done a lot of things to piss me off and make me angry and things like that yeah <laughs> but we believe in forgiveness and love and mercy and because of that, I have forgiven Sydney, have I not, Sydney? Yes, you have, yes. And yes. Sydney? I have forgiven you too, yes. He's forgiven me. You saw it, you heard it, you heard him. He forgave me. What a sucker. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But <clears throat> understand that as, as friends and as family, that y'all need to stand up and forgive each other for your wrongdoings and your mistakes because there ain't one of you that doesn't have mistakes in their life and if you don't understand the concept of forgiveness well then you certainly don't understand Christianity and so all you hate is maybe you should understand what you're hating on is that because you don't want to forgive anybody you just want to hate you just want to hold on to hate the rest of your life based on lies and deception Living in chaos? Well, that's what the enemy of love wants for you. Isn't that right, Sydney? That is right, yes. Sydney, describe how the enemy destroys love. 
He destroys love by filling us. Well, first he erases the love and he fills it with hate. And so that's what you have to run on, you know, all the time that you're being controlled by the, this enemy of love, you know, which I think we all know his name, but... The name that should not be mentioned. Yes, yes. Because we don't want to give it any power. Because the only name that matters is the name of love. And in the name of love, Sydney, let's go out once more in the name of love, Sydney. Yes. One more in the name of love. Yes. So we're going to make our videos here in the name of love because we don't hold anger and political anger against people. We don't believe in doing things that are inappropriate or being violent in any way. And our political system has become a big mess. And your interpersonal relationships with people that you disagree with has become a big mess. So we're not gonna skate the political divide and we could say a lot of things and we know a lot of truth and we will speak it, but we will do so in love. And by that fact, Sydney, how do we perform and act in our lives? Through love, yes. Well, there's a thing that says called do unto others. Right. People have showed us love, therefore we show love. And many of those people in our lives are from different political spectrums than us, isn't that right, Sydney? That is right, yes. But yet we've had love and shared love with them and help and help them and they've helped us, isn't that correct? That is right, yes. So your political divide and dividing everyone by politics is only dividing your family. It's an intentional attack on your life because you've become hateful based on political lies, isn't that correct, Sydney? That's right, yes. Or based on your own misconception of who God is and who you are. But it's not the person you hate. You're the one that holds the hate. So who's holding, who, who is the hate hurting? Is it hurting the person they hate or is it hurting them? Hurting them, yeah. So when you're holding all that hate, you're just hurting yourself. You're not hurting the base person you hate. Because that person is a shield against you because he's got so much self-confidence. So he just goes on, does his thing. And you get so hateful that eventually you act out in a really hateful way. And if you're young and rash, irrational, you might do all kinds of crazy hate things. Isn't that Oh, yes. Because you've got, you still feel so trapped, but you've only trapped yourself. Isn't that correct, sir? That is right, yes. Now, I'm not passing judgment on you. I'm giving you a way out of your hate. On either side, if you're walking in hate, and I'd say the, the politics of the last couple of weeks, it's pretty clear that, that it's the Democrats who dodged the bullet, not Trump. Isn't that right, Sid? That's right, yes. Because had that bullet been successful, there'd be a whole lot of angry people with guns. Isn't that right, Sidney? Oh, yes. I mean a whole lot of angry people with guns. Now, is that going to be a solution for anybody? I don't think so. It's... So, like, I, I kind of think that if you wish that had succeeded, you're wishing that your whole country devolves into civil war. Isn't that what they're wishing for, Sidney? It would seem that way, yeah. I think it's a little delusional, don't you, Sydney? Oh, yeah. What's the word we say? Let's say it together. Delusional. But what do you really need in your life? Love. So if you need love, well, we all need love, and it's fine to find love on a boat. It's exciting and new. So, you know, come aboard, Sydney. They should come aboard the love we're ex yeah. We're expecting you, you know. We're expecting you. Yes. So come aboard. You know, she's waiting for you. So stop wasting your time with things that don't mean anything, that don't bring you anything, that don't change anything. They just bring you sadness and bring you anger. And then you act out and cause harm to others that never did anything 
to you. And people are getting canceled and people getting fired all because they're acting out because of anger and rash hate based on lies and untruths. Isn't that correct, Sydney? That is true, yeah. Let's, let's you know, and some video in the future, maybe we'll delve into the lies and the untruths of why you hate someone so much that you think you need to act out in violent ways or say horrific things online. But it's really the truth is, would you say that to his face? And it's truly true. If you want to live in love and live with people that you had never met, if you wouldn't say it to the face, don't say it online. Isn't that correct, Sydney? Oh, yes. If you wouldn't say it to the face, if you wouldn't say it to your mother, maybe you shouldn't say it online. Is that correct, Sydney? Oh, yes. I mean, you know, maybe if you wouldn't say it to your father or your boss, maybe you shouldn't say it online. So I'm just saying that stop dividing and help us unite by forgiving people you don't even know because you were told a bunch of lies and you say you don't believe the media. Oh, Fox is bad. Well, you know, they're all bad. You know, MSMC, CBN, they told you that Biden was completely normal for fucking the last three years when it was obvious that he completely was not. Just saying, okay? And to the point where they now they claim that one party is a threat to democracy. Well, they themselves are destroying the democratic process and just appointing their fucking queen or king or whoever that person may end up being. But you didn't vote for them. So they, damn, they knew damn well, excuse my French, that the president was in a bad light. But they kept on going and lying and lying and lying and lying until it became so obvious they just couldn't lie about it anymore. And so you're going to take these people's choice, and I'm just saying it's, and they call the other side the threat to democracy. They are a joke. And I, I advise that you all vote libertarian or vote for the Green Party. And let's send a direct message to evil people who try, based on the evidence we've seen, it just doesn't add up. And it's really the Democrats who have dodged a bullet, Sydney. And the process of uh, lying about everything right from the get-go and ignoring everything and then like not letting anybody tell the truth and that, it's insane. It really is insane. It still might become really bad for every person in this country if the truth and the conspiracy that happened is not exposed. Isn't that right, Sidney? Oh, yes. But look, we're independents. We vote third party most of the time. And the party system in itself is passe. Because in the modern age of communication, you don't need a bunch of parties. And if you're more loyal to your party than you are to your mother, well, you got a serious problem, isn't it correct? Oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> I mean, if you're more loyal yeah. to your party than you are your father or your brother or your baby or your neighbor or to the guy on the street, if you care more about your party than people's lives, you are an immoral person. And we see a lot of people showing their immorality. And today I'd like to speak about one thing that really disturbed Sid and I. People pretending and giving themselves so much credit became so pompous and so distracted by their wealth and their riches that they forgot the common man. And they play to the power and to the money. They are not the Democratic Party of the 1970s. Isn't that right, Sidney? Oh, yes. Unfortunately, sad but true, but yes. They're promoting war after war after war. And as people of love, which we're talking about, right, Sidney? Oh, yes. We're not in favor of any war, civil, universal, galactic, it's all a bad idea and brings death and destruction to life as we know it. Isn't that correct, Cindy? Unfortunately, yes. Trauma, 
and you, you breed from one generation to the next. You breed your war into your children and you keep breeding war and you say that you're so progressive. Uh, again, more lies. Isn't that correct, Sydney? Oh, yes. And if you're breeding hate for somebody that doesn't agree with you politically, you are immoral. And you are not evolving. And I don't mean to be negative to you, but I forgive you for it. And I tell you, love, please. Please change. Please grow. Grow as a human. So we can get solutions to problems instead of just pointing fingers. He's evil, he's evil. How about we're all trying to survive on the planet and everybody's got an idea of how to fix it or how to do right things right. And you gotta let all these ideals come to actual solutions because no idea is bad. What's bad is idiots putting the wrong solution in place. Waste your money, waste your time, waste your love, kills people literally killing people because they only care about political power. They lied to you over and over over COVID to the point where I heard you, my friends, advocate for camps, but they call the right Nazis. Right. That's not irony. Isn't that irony? Oh, and didn't, you know, Roosevelt put people in camps? That's right, yes. Oh, and they call the right Nazis. I'm just saying, wake up to your hypocrisy because you are indeed a hypocrite if you believe those things, if you walk in their lies, if you've swallowed their lies. And Sid and I, we're not about that. We're about forgiveness, love, but most of all, what are we about, Sydney? Truth. Yes. I've always been a very truthful man and people don't like it. But it is the truth. And the truth is never what you want it to be. The truth just is what it is. Yes. So walk with us. Walk in love. Help us find the truth. And help us go forward in our lives with positivity. And hope for each other. And forgive people. And why you would even hate people that you don't even know. You don't have any clue of what Christianity is because you live in a world of hate. And your solutions all involve trying to hurt someone rather than trying to educate someone. Because you've taken your leaders so seriously and because your media lies so much. Find it in your heart to forgive the people you don't know. Find it in your heart to forgive the people you do know. And Sydney, why are they forgiven all these people? Because they are blessed, you know. Once they have found love. Then your life turns around. Yes. Then your life is not controlled by whatever Trump does. You don't care whatever Trump does because you love, because you have love. And all this outside noise doesn't mean anything anymore. Isn't that right, Sydney? That's right, yes. So embrace your heart and your love and love for others. And then all that noise won't matter. And then everything else will start to correct itself. It'll start to move in a direction that moves us all forward. Isn't that right, Sydney? That's right. Yeah. It's our hope as truthful beings and love that we would find our direction and our meaning in our day-to-day -day lives and bring peace, Sydney. Peace to the United States of America and forgive and love each other and find openness, openness, openness in your heart for ideas that you don't understand and openness for truth that you don't comprehend because the truth will be slapping you in the face hard if you don't start to go down the rabbit hole. And all your rights and your freedoms will be washed away, washed away. And we, we don't want that fate for you. 
and understand what we just had like the shut off of all the credit cards and all the money bank machines that's a warning from God I, I don't know how you know what that means that means you're all dependent on digital credit and cash digital for this digital for that that's a warning that that all could shut off an instant and you have nothing you wouldn't be able to eat sleep nothing because you don't have a cash anymore because you don't have money anymore because they turned it all digital and you can't you can't do transactions anymore because somebody got into the system and trashed it it's the dumbest thing ever isn't that correct Sydney? oh god yes <laughs> not only does it take away your individual freedoms it takes away your your happiness and your love and put you into a cold market where everything is digital and numbered be a human not a number isn't that right Sydney? oh yes we ask you to be a human and not a number isn't that right Sydney? that's right tell them why it's important to be a human Sydney. like the guy says in that show i am not a number i am a free man and that is important for everyone to know you are a free man don't let this society tell you otherwise you know free woman or free women free whatever you want to identify lgbtq yes, yes. you yes. are free live free you are able to find that lifestyle because this country has been free so for you to advocate advocate for the destruction of that freedom seems preposterously fucking ridiculously stupid doesn't it oh it's it's silly yes it's silly because that freedom has allowed you to get to that lifestyle in the first place so advocate for what is brings love what brings solution what brings solution to the problems in the inner cities the problems with crime the problem with our education system that isn't teaching these kids how to love each other an education system that isn't teaching them the respect for each other respect for humanity respect for the world respect for themselves respect for god a respect for the morality that moves humanity forward if you don't respect any of that then you don't have any morality within you and you are a liar and repeating lies and I want to respect my friends and I love you all but I've seen so many things that I even defriended a few of my friends haven't I said oh yeah yeah we even defriended a few people because I just I can't believe that people advocating for murder and a subject that means a lot to us because we need love and forgiveness it's like tenacious d now why would we be caring a lot about tenacious d well sydney who have we been worshiping our fucking whole like last 20 years well tenacious d has definitely been up on the top of the list you know i, I won a prize at a air guitar con contest when I was like acting out Tenacious D song, isn't that right, Sydney? That's right, yeah, that's right. We love Tenacious D, okay? But the problem was, is they forgot. Sid and I, we, we, we do for a living what, what do Tenacious. Kyle, what Kyle was doing. What Kyle and Jack were doing. They were, doing, they were yeah. busking for a living. That's right. Paying his rent with busking, well, his parents were paying his rent, but he was busking for his money. Right. Sydney and I busk for our money. So they were kind of heroes showing it's okay to fucking live that way, right, Sydney? That's right, yeah. And so those heroes now represent the machine that grinds people like Sydney and I up. Isn't that correct, Sydney? Oh, that's right, yeah. And so I, I, I've like, been saddened no end and not just him but also like Neil Young and some of these other people given their their support to a machine that is grinding people like Sydney and I up grinding them up and leaving them for dog meat on the ground they've run our country to the brink of civil war and love requires 
and demand that we find a way to forgive each other. And for people of, that we consider heroes, it's sad to, to, see, to think that they think murdering somebody is the answer to their problems when they have no problems. Am I right, Sydney? That's right, yes. And so that makes us really, really sad. Uh, really, really sad for people we thought were heroes, that were heroes to us. And so maybe they don't get that. Maybe they're blind to what that means to like people like Sydney and I when they're supposed to be representing us out there and they pretend like there's like some fucking rock gods, some fucking heroes of the street. But you're promoting hate and death and think that's good. Even as a joke, it's not funny. You know? So you see, you see a person's real heart. And we, we, we got incredibly sad by that. And yeah. You know what? For the last eight years, nine years, there's been hundreds, thousands of people who are speaking on the internet and giving political opinions that were monotoned and descriptive and intellectual. And they have been banned and removed from the airways. Thousands of people removed for saying nothing of violence, only espousing most of them life and their opinion of life. So I don't feel bad that Tenacious D has had to cancel their tours because they've shown their hearts to be really negative and then they apologize then they take their apology back i don't think they know their soul at all do we Sydney? no and i think jack black endorsing given that big endorsement of biden before that was kind lying of an indication. lying to you all yeah lying to you all you don't think he fucking knew fucking or was he just oh i'm in the presence of power It's disgusting, isn't it, Sidney? Oh, yeah. So, like, whatever. You know, we're not here to argue with all this stuff. That's not today. And because Sidney and I know what the evil is going on and how much more evil it just got, we say that, you know, we need to love each other, stop being brainwashed by the division, stop seeing your brothers as haters. Everybody makes mistakes. Not one of you is without sin. Stop fucking hating people that you don't know personally that have done you no personal damage but the actions of this government and the direct government of Washington of California and other governments did severe damage to their citizenry based on corporate greed and political gain and some of these people want to get in that fucking White House and we say, you, you've got tunnel vision and you've misread the moment. And I, I would highly recommend that you get a clear look at who the real Nazis are. Who the real threat to democracy is. But once you get angry at them, I want you just to forgive them and pray for them to repent. why do we want that city? So they can change. So, I guess. so we can end the war. Right? So we can have peace. If you want peace in your life, in your heart, end the war in your own heart by stop, stopping and getting, getting off the emotional roller coaster that they keep you on. 
Why do they keep you on an emotional roller coaster, Sydney? That way they can keep you in control. They keep you in control as long as you're on an emotional roller coaster. That's right. <laughs> so gain your freedom back. Take your peace back. Take your life back. And take your family back. Anyone that you hated that was a re Republican or a Democrat, take those people back into your life. Don't let these people win. Don't let these assassins win. But they intend to divide. They intend to drag our country into civil war so they can take complete martial law authority. Understand what we just dodged. And we ask you to forgive and love and demand better of your own leaders and demand that you be able to vote for your presidential candidate. That's democracy. Isn't that correct, Sidney? That is correct, yes. So that's my message for the day. And we say to you, Democrats and you Republicans, hey man, the rest of us are done with you. Get the hell out of your wars. Get the fucking shit back on this fucking planet. Tell the truth about the technology you're holding on to. Tell the truth about the attempted at assassination and expose the deep state as it is. The people in the middle who don't want to have anything to do with you demand that you hold these people accountable for the future of humanity, for the future of our country, to expose the corporate power greed structure that enables these politicians to continuing to foster division and hate. Let them be shamed. Shame these people because they're not standing for you. And I just want to remind people that when you are elected president, you are elected president not just to be president for the people that voted you in, you're elected to be the president for everyone. Even the people that disagreed with you. And when you've forgotten that, you've forgotten your brother, you've forgotten your sister, you've forgotten your mother. And we'd like to remind you to do what, Sydney? To, to, to love. love, yes. To love. Please love in your life. Please restore your love. Please seek love, seek God. Seek love in your life. Seek hope, seek the future. Stop living in hate and lies and deception. And don't just accept whatever fucking people say to you, find out the facts so you can like not go through your life hating for no reason. But it's usually the people that are trying to get you to hate are the ones that are responsible for all the troubles you feel. They want you to look the other way while they steal from your pockets, while they steal from the country, while they kill half the damn world. And, you know, we know if you wake up and love they don't have power anymore, do they, Sid? Nope, not after that. No? Nope. So, I'm Tim Fantastic. And I'm Sid Sirloin. And we're begging you, pleading with you, pleading with you, pleading with you to forgive us, to forgive us Even though most of you, you would have been the ones hurting us. But whatever. See, I have to forgive you, right? And I do. So, forgive us. Forgive everyone in your life. Forgive people you don't know. Don't walk around with hate. And be open to truth and facts. And don't buy 99% of what the news media has been telling you. 
remember, for everything they are telling you, there's a hundred things they're not telling you. So go find out the truth and free yourself from your hate. Go find out the truth and free yourself from the hate. Go find out the truth and free yourself from the hate. Like, mind, and subscribe if you like this video. Right, Cindy? That is right. Peace and love. Goodbye.